Hi, well, that, was, that was terrible. <laughs> Hi, welcome back to We Ride Motos. I'm Glenn. And I'm Carrie. Today we are arriving in La Spezza, which is our jump off town. So we, we booked a place in La Spezza and then we're going to do the Cinque de Terre because you have to take a train there. So mm -hmm. that's what we're doing in this episode. Yeah, we were too late to book in one of the actual little towns. So we just thought we'd do it this way. There's a boss keeps on calling me down the road it's where i'll always be every stop i make i make a new friend can't stay for long just turn around and i'm gone again maybe tomorrow i want to settle down until tomorrow i'll just keep moving on Okay, so, so we got up in the morning and the night before we went out and scoped out the train station, got up in the morning, got our ticket and took the train to the northmost town, which mm. is uh, uh, Monteroso El Mar. Mm -hmm. That's the, the northmost town. So then our plan was we would hike to the southmost town. Yeah, that's the attraction. Five little fishing villages and they were inaccessible years ago and they finally did build a, a rail into there. So Google says it should take six hours to hike. Yeah, the hike from Monteroso to Rio Majori, I don't know, I can't say it, these words, <laughs> supposed to take about six hours. So off we go. Now, one of the things you have to do if you're going to hike on this is you need a pass. And so there was a ticket booth right on yeah. the trail. So I think we paid 750 euro, but that will vary depending on high season, low season. Yeah, we were in October. We're October, so, so it's probably definitely low season. Low season. season. Another thing that I read, I think the day before, so I did know this, you're supposed to have running shoes on. It well, like a on closed toed shoe. Yeah, and now I didn't bring any. Carrie um, likes to hike in sandals. All I had was my riding boots, which would not, I would not be able to hike no. that far in them. So I had to kind of sneak by the guy so he didn't look yeah. down at my feet. Every time she walked by, she <laughs> held her backpack down. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, I, so yeah. I kind of wish I did have hiking shoes. It would have been more comfortable. For yeah, me. so. So we got our pass and then uh, the neat thing with these towns is fishing is, it's not a major industry, but it's it's one of the industries. So mm -hmm. there's all these cool little, I don't know, I'll call them skiffs, but the little fishing boats yeah. all over the place. And, and some of those little towns have little bays. This is yep. very pretty. Yeah, and then there's beaches, which I guess if you're in the regular season would actually yeah. have people on them. Yeah, it was quiet. The name of the trail is the, I don't know, check the notes, it's Sentiero Azurro, <laughs> double R. So uh, there's, a, there's a statue there called the Giant, uh, which looks ancient, but it's actually dated from 1910. Oh, really? Yeah, it's not, it's not, well, it's, it's not really old, old, it's 100 years old, yeah. but it's not like ancient, like yeah. everything else. Yeah, when you're in so. Europe, you get 100, yeah. it's a very old. 100 yeah. years, that's yeah. like brand new. Yeah, so, oh, I didn't realize that. Yeah. So from Monteresso to Vernazza is a three and a half kilometer hike. And you start off zigging your way to get up into the hills. And yeah, so that's... I think that one, that first stretch was fairly easy. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. It was very beautiful views from all along there. Yeah, and some of the trails, I mean, they, they have problems, but in 2019, there's lots of parts of the trails were damaged. They had a big storm yeah. and it was damaged. So 
But up on the top, I mean, you have spectacular views mm -hmm. of, of the ocean all the way along there. So. Now, the train, so we have a picture of the train that we rode on, but it, there's a local train that services all five towns. So however you want to come visit, you can, you know, we do the hike or you can t jump a train from town mm -hmm. to town yeah. or hike one and catch a train. It's up to you. But, yeah, it makes it so and you, anybody can You can buy a day it. pass, which I didn't know, we didn't know about at the time, but I researched it. So you can buy a day pass that covers the trail and it's a day pass for the trains and you can get on and off as much as you want on the train so oh, okay. so you don't have to hike it and yeah. pay for each train hmm. so it's pretty cool uh, and clean water yeah wow. the ocean yeah, yeah. very oh just so beautiful yeah it's if you like yeah. hiking to, and you're in italy that you, it's a must do for sure well I, yeah you I don't know why you come to this area and not hike it or yeah. at least hike sections of it yeah so, yeah yeah we really enjoyed it So in Vernazza, there's a, a little tower on the point. Uh, it's called the uh, Castello Doria. And uh, rumor has it, or probably not rumor, but the Germans use it as a um, anti-aircraft station in the Second World oh, War. Oh, hmm. so Atlas Obscura. Yeah. And we just so we just moved through that town, and we kept going. The next the next town along the way is Cornigula, and it's three and a, another three and a half kilometers. Pads are, you better, you know, you, just, you have to have good shoes and they're pretty blocky and broken up. It's not a, you know, it's definitely not a paved path. No, no, no. But it wasn't bad. I think that one was still not too strenuous. It was just a nice hike. Uh, did, did we stop? Yeah. There in, and had a little... In Cornigula, we stopped um, and had lunch. I got a beer and you had orange juice and the oranges were there. Yeah, yeah beautiful. Fresh. And you're sitting on your chair in the little narrow streets and yeah. you know you basically you're sitting in your chair getting an elbow in the side of the head yeah. as people go by but yeah, I mean, it was neat. We were there off season but it was still very busy. Oh yeah, I yeah. couldn't imagine what it would be like there on yeah in season. No, it would be it would be crazy. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, we left Carnigula and we're on our way to Manarola and at one point we came across uh, farmers harvesting olives I guess yeah so that was pretty neat they lay out all the, the tarp or something underneath. yeah the nets and then one guy kind they, of rustles that he just has like a big broom and he's kind of rustling one, yeah. the, the trees and out fall the olives and yeah yeah that was interesting we watched that for a little while yeah that was cool and we also uh, occasionally before but now we started to really get into we came across these random these rails that sometimes you have to climb over but they would cross the path and we really didn't know what they were about until yeah we came across the farmer and his wife going to town or to they, harvest and they they're yeah. they're little trams that i think she said she, i think they stopped and talked to us for a minute they were going to she, he was taking her out for dinner i think yeah. in town so she was all dressed up yeah they didn't want to do yeah. that path so they took the yeah. little oh i can see why it's a lot of walking so, oh yeah so they sit on this little thing and go down this little rail that yeah, goes down. it's pretty cool so. but it's a lot of terraces there with the uh, grapes they grow and yeah so the the olives and the grapes are still a pretty big industry there but not like they used to be and one of the problems that they're having um, 
is when they do get a weather event, these terraces are starting to fall into mm. disrepair. And so then they they collapse and they cause flooding yeah. and, and more damage. And, and it's a lot of work to rebuild because it's very steep. You know? yeah, yeah, so it's one of the one of the issues that they're trying to figure out how to deal with there is, mm. you know, who's going to repair these terraces because they're just starting to fall apart. Yeah, mm, so. that's too bad. So the last town that we, we end up in is Manarola. And I think we grabbed some snacks there and sightseeing. But well, I don't think we were going to hike that one because we thought the trail was closed. It had been reported that it was closed, but some people had come through and they said, oh no, it's open. But you have to, the lower one was closed, but you could take the upper one. Anyways, we had to go up like. Oh yeah, that's where we sat in town and we looked across and it was like, this. Oh my gosh, it was so... And we looked on your Fitbit and we'd already done 21 kilometers of walking and 249 but, but stories worth of elevation By the time we did this path, because it went way, way up in the hill yeah. and then back down again, which, oh, the view was worth it for sure, but so we were definitely... We were done. We were done by the time we got to the last town. The last town that we came to on uh, Cinque Terre, it was right at sunset, so it was perfect. We Everybody was lined up below, trying to get the perfect shot of the bay with the boats and stuff in it. Yeah. So yeah, that was definitely a nice way to end the day. Yeah. yeah. Well, so we decided, well, we'll come back tomorrow. So then we, we took the train, we were tired. We yeah. took the train, got back to La Spezza, and then found out that the next day there was going to be a random rail strike yeah, which that, happens that does happen so that means there was no train into town so there was no way to get there so that and we had some this apartment had a sewer smell that the owner couldn't seem to resolve so we just decided to heck with it yeah we canceled the next day yeah and carrie wanted to go in bologna which wasn't mm -hmm. too far away is the ducati factory yeah and yeah. so she wanted to see that because she has a little scrambler I ducati at home yes yeah, so. so yeah so that is what we did in sink to sink mm -hmm. to terra sink to terra mm -hmm. and next episode will be uh, bologna mm -hmm. okay.